now we are being asked to find the sum of the geometric series, if possible. And we look at this sigma notation. We see that the starting point is 1, the ending point is 7. So basically, we have seven things to add up. When we substitute 1 in, we will have 2 times 3 fourths, which is raised to the 1 minus 1, which is raised to the 0th power, plus 2 times 3 fourths raised to the 2 minus 1st power, raised to the 1st power, plus a lot of terms in the middle, plus, finally, we'll, we will have 2 times 3 fourths raised to the 7 minus 1, which is the 6th power. Okay, well that's all fine and dandy. We could figure all these babies out if we wanted to, but maybe this time, instead of doing it out manually, I will use the formula. S sub n is equal to A1 times 1 minus r to the nth power divided by 1 minus r. Now let's substitute some values in. This is going to equal A1. Well, we kind of need to go to our formula here. When we find the first term here, anything to the zeroth power is 1 times the 2 says our first term is 2 times 1 minus the ratio here, which is 3 fourths. Notice we're multiplying by 3 fourths to go from term to term to term. Raised to the, in this case, 7th power. I think I need an inner parentheses here, 7th power, close parentheses again, all over 1 minus r, which is 1 minus 3 quarters. Okay, let's figure this out a little bit further. This is going to equal 2 times 1 minus 2,187 over 16,384, all of which is going to be divided by 1 minus 3 quarters, which is 1 quarter. This becomes an exercise here where we need to actually substitute that into our calculator. So the sum of the first seven terms upon entering this into your calculator will become 14,197 divided by 2,048. They will not usually be this large. Usually when you have a ratio like this, you're not going out that many terms. Now we are being asked to find the sum of this series. I notice that I'm multiplying by 3 to go from 4 to the next couple terms. So we are going to be assuming that this is geometric. Actually, the directions at the top of the page told us so. And that the ratio is going to equal 3. Now, 78,000 is rather large. And I just don't want to write all these things out and count by hand how many terms we have. And then what do these add up to? So I'm going to first find out how many terms we've gone out there. And I'm going to use my a sub n formula is a1 times r to the n minus first power. In other words, 78,732 is equal to 4 times our ratio of 3 to the n minus first power. Okay, looks like we're going to have to use some logarithms here. I'm going to divide by 4 on each side. This will give us, on the left, 19,683 is equal to 3 to the n minus first power. Now, we could either take the log of each side and divide by 3. The log of 19,683 is equal to, now the log of the right side brings the n minus 1 down, and we have n minus 1 times the log of 3. I would then divide the log off of each side to get n minus 1 by itself on the right. So we will have the log of this 19,683 divided by the log of 3, at which point we could evaluate the left side to get 9 equals n minus 1 and find out that we've actually gone 10 terms out. Once we know we've only gone 10 terms out, maybe you'll actually want to go back up to the top of the problem and only fill in the missing six terms. 
or you can go straight to the sum formula, which says in the case of this problem, s sub n equals a1 times 1 minus r to the nth power all over 1 minus r. That means for the tenth term, we will begin with a sub 1, which is 4, and multiply by the ratio of 3, or 1 minus 3, to the tenth power all over 1 minus 3, which is negative 2. Well, that looks to me like we need to use a calculator. And so the sum of the first 10 terms is going to equal 118,096.